Alright, uh, what up guys? Clever Shark 21 here. And today I'm coming at you with like a review on two boards. Um, the first one is my Arbor Axis Koa that I already kind of did a review on, but this one's probably a little bit better because first one I only had it for like two days and I now I've read it for like a month, so. Uh, so, alright, um, so this board is 40 inches long. Alright, well this is 40 inches long. It's got a 30 or 31 inch wheelbase. And last time I didn't, I think I said 36 because I didn't even know. I didn't realize that that's kind of big. Because I didn't know. Now I do. So, here it is. It's kind of dirty. Like, if you can see that. To me, it's really dirty. Like, right there, it's dirty. Here, it's got stuff on it. The ends hit the curb a lot. A little scraped. Because I've been doing wonder salt and stuff. A little scraped. Hit the curb a lot. Um, I've got bare 852s on here with the stock bushings. And purple orangutan stimuluses with bones reds bearings with spacers and kind of worn down like that one doesn't really have a graphic at all and the bushings like red bearings like black that one's kind of back this one's like red you can tell got a graphic that one's black too so I don't know why that is but it is um Top or no, never mind. It's a drop through mount board. I got the Cairo 30 or 13 millimeter shock absorbing drop through pad or whatever. Um, it's pretty low to the ground, so it'll make it more stable and better for downhill. But, um, this board doesn't have very much concave, so it's alright for free riding. I mean, I'm still a beginner, so I can't do... I'm trying to get down my 180 slide, but um, I could probably do it if I was wearing like a helmet or something. If I had gloves on, because I, I would just like do it. And I wouldn't, if I fell, like I probably wouldn't fall because I'd go all out or something, but I don't have a helmet yet, and I don't have gloves, so when I'm doing my slides, I'm trying not to fall, but yeah. So there's like a little bit of concave, like if you look at it from the side, you can tell it's not very much, it doesn't really like, you kind of have to hold, have your heels off to slide. Like my friend that's been on going for a while, he can do like 180s and stuff on it. But, yeah, I can't, yeah, because, and my grip, it's the spray on like recycled glass grip tape or whatever, and it's not, it's, pretty grippy. It's like grippy enough for like downhill. Like I don't slip or anything and then for like cruising around but for your eye my feet slip a little on it. So I wanna buy some gesso grip or something from your skate. I'll probably get gesso but if I get it from motion then I'll probably get like thumb cut or something. I don't know. Maybe vicious, probably, actually, I don't know, yeah, but, 
probably in the next couple weeks I'll get some new grip or something. Sand this off and just put it on there so my feet have more uh, grip so I don't. So maybe I can do the slides because I'm kind of sliding when I'm trying to slide. But I'm sliding on my board. That's not good. So. Um, pretty, I think it's like, at the widest point, I think it's like nine and a fourth inches wide or something like that, but it gets smaller in the middle, clear, it gets smaller in the middle, so, that's the way it is. You don't get wheel bite on this, like, at all, I don't get wheel bite at all, not even close. Um, so, you don't get wheel bite, but if you had, like, I'd probably get wheel bite if I had, like, maybe, like, 80 millimeter wheels. I don't know. I'm not close. And these are 70. So, you're, if you're anywhere from, like, 70, if you're, like, 70, 75, or 70, maybe a little more, then... You won't get wheel bite, but if you're higher, then you probably will. I don't know. But, um, got my bears. I was riding them just the regular way, and then when I was riding with the, my friend that can like slide stuff on this, I loosened up the trucks so that it was like flush with the bolt, with the kingpin, and then. So when I was like, when my friend from, excuse me, my friend from, uh, um, like Young Sound came down, he had a longboard and we were going down some hills and I was riding my sisters that I'm going to do some like, kind of a review for over there and I like really, hers was like stable, it was like weird, like it was different and so when I got back to my other friend's house, I, because he has like a socket wrench or something, and I don't, because that's what my dad's, I, um, tight, or I slipped the trucks, because they were like, I'd get, I was getting like twitches, like I wasn't getting speed wobbles, because like, well, because speed wobbles isn't like just the board in the trucks, it's a lot of like mental and like the rider, so. I was getting like, I wasn't getting speed wobbles, but I was getting like little twitches because the trucks were loose. Like I wasn't enough to like, I wasn't getting like close to like falling or anything. It was just like kind of annoying. It would like twitch a little tiny bit. So I flipped the trucks from 52 degrees to 42, because I'm pretty sure it changes like 10 degrees on the bears because they're flippable trucks. So I flipped them. And then I tightened up, they're a little bit tighter than how they used to be. See, they're not flush right here on the, on the kingpin. It's a little bit out. I mean, I can still turn though, but it's just more stable. Like that's the thing when you flip on, it doesn't necessarily, it limits your turning. Because you can still turn just as much, it's just more stable. Because it's a lower angle on the pivot cut. So I can still turn enough that I need to, and it's a lot more stable going downhill. It's like, I don't even really have to pay attention, because before, I would have to, like, kind of, like, pay attention to my balance and stuff, because I, because it was, like, twitching a little bit, and it was, like, just made me pay attention to that, but now I can pay attention on the road in front of me, or whatever I'm riding on, like, the cart path. Cause we do that a lot on the golf course because it's got a lot of hills by my house. And so yeah, it now I can don't have no I don't twitch at all. And I don't get speed wobbles and stuff like that. So that's the bears. I actually like them a lot better flipped. So even if you like to turn this like carve, I still like them that because like, I don't think anyone really does, like, just cruising. Like, they might, but even me, like, when I started, 
I wasn't that bad when I started, but um, you just don't, like, after you, like, cruise around a little bit, maybe in your neighborhood or something, you want to, like, do some hills, and you just get better, and you just want to keep going bigger, so I would ride them flipped, because I like it better, and I think everyone would. Um, I put it... I put a lot of stickers on the bottom, and my board got scraped, kind of, but I like it better like that because cause you, you know you ride it, you can do some tricks and stuff, and you don't care as much. Like I still care about my board, but I don't like baby and stuff, and I don't really care if it gets scraped. Like I can just do tricks and stuff, but in like a couple times, like my board, as you can see, it's not really like chipped on the sides but the grip is like not there anymore and there's little like ch like scrapes and stuff like when it hits the curve it gets like the little indents and like dents and scrapes it's like that on the like around the edges and stuff from landing because when it lands it lands on oh gosh it lands on this these parts like the bigger parts not doesn't like scrape the trucks or anything um Here's the, here's the tail, um, it's, like, you, it does, it may look, like, not that small, but, I mean, it kind of is small, and I'm pretty sure it, it goes down a little, I mean, it doesn't go down that much, it's not like the dervish or whatever, but it, it's not very big, you can do manuals, but it's, it's if you're, like, a, kind of like a beginner, then it's kind of hard to do manuals. Like, I can do a manual, but I can't do it for very long. Like, for a second, maybe. Unless I, but like, if I slowly go into it, then I can do it a little longer. But I don't really do manuals, so. Yeah. For going like free riding down, it's just fine. How the thing is. But it will, if it's riding towards the curb, it will hit the curb. Because like, some boards ramp up it. Like, go in the grass or whatever. But this will hit the curb and scrape the end. So, um, be careful about that. Because, like, my friend, uh, he had an original pintail, and if his goes from the front, the nose won't hit the curb, it'll just ramp up and stuff. Like, it won't hit it at all, but the pintail side will hit the curb. Like, it's just how much this sticks off. So, this does hit the curb. Um, this board, it, I didn't, like, do, um, that much research or anything before I got this board. Like, my friend told me what, like, trucks and wheels, like, what is all, like, good. That, because he's ridden a lot, kind of. But, um, he told me what to get, and he said Arbor was a good company, and... Cause I was like looking at this this board right here, cause I clicked on flexi because I wanted a flexi board, but I didn't really know when I got my longboard like what really flexi does and stuff. I just thought I just thought you wanted a long flexi board, kind of like yeah. But like I'm kind of surprised about this, but. I don't know if I'm disappointed, really, that this board isn't very flexy. It actually isn't very flexy at all. Like, you can see in my other review for this, my first review for this, that it's kind of, like, it, it has give, especially if you're heavier, because I'm only like 110 pounds, but for me, it doesn't, like, it barely flexes, like, it does if I jump on it a little bit, but like, it's just barely, which is kind of a good thing because it's better for downhill, but I don't, yeah, I'm not really disappointed that it's like that. I was just kind of surprised because it was in the flexible category. So, yeah. So it's, overall, it's like a really, I think it's a very good beginner board. If, you, if you're just getting into longboarding, I would get this board. If I were going to get 